Hey everyone, I'm software engineer at Google, working on storage infrastructure. And I'll be talking about the GK Staple HA controller, a new tool that can help you balance cost and availability for block storage applications on Kubernetes. So let's talk about availability. I think we can all agree availability can be expensive. And why is that? Data replication. So if you want your data to be available during a zone outage, you need to move your data across zone boundaries at the application layer. All major cloud providers charge for cross zone egress, and this replication can rack up depending on the data throughput your application has. The other challenge is extra compute. Um, in order to replicate your data, you need compute running in multiple zones to be able to replicate the data at the application layer. However, for many applications, a single replica properly scaled is potentially capable of handling all your read and writes. In this case, the extra compute capacity is functionally only necessary to provide availability for your data in order to replicate it. What you really want to be paying for is just the storage replication, not the compute required to replicate it. Let's go to the other end of the spectrum, single replica apps that aren't highly available. Kubernetes does have some automated failover capabilities, rescheduling if uh, there's infrastructure failures, but even this is uh, has conservative defaults and cluster-wide defaults. Failure detection depends on qubit reporting and healthy, your application's tolerance for node unavailability taints, and in the case of block storage, the volume forced to detach interval. The other challenge is data availability. So in the case of a zone failure, your data may be durable. For example, GCE's persistent disk has five nines of durability, but what you really care about is the availability of that data. Um, and in, in the event that the data is not accessible or services are unavailable in a particular zone, uh, your data is effectively lost for that period of time. So cost and availability are correlated. You can either have low cost, low availability, or high cost, high availability with multiple replicas. Uh, ideally, you'd be in the left top left quadrant here, um, where you'd have low cost, high availability. Um, and the Stateful HA controller can deliver a balance of that um, if your application architecture can converge to a specific model that, that maps that domain. For single replica apps, it gives you multi-zone data availability and application-specific rescheduling speed, so you can put an upper bound on how quickly your application can, or on the failover period for your application. And for multi-replica apps, you can achieve a significant reduction in cost by moving to a single zone but still having data availability in the event of a zone failure. So how does this work? Let's talk about what it, how it's built. It's built on regional persistent disks. So this regional persistent disk is GCP's synchronous only replicated block storage product. And the nice thing here is you only pay for the additional storage space. So effectively your storage cost is doubled, but you're not paying the cost of replicating that data. So if you have high cross network egress traffic, that cost line goes away. Um, the other benefit or the other building block here is the Stateful HA controller is running in GK's dedicated control plane. Um, it is able to detect node failure. It's able to evict your Stateful replicas from a failed node and reschedule your application on an alternate, alternate node in the zone. Um, working alongside the Kubernetes scheduler, it can ensure your applications, uh, regional persistent disk back volumes fail over within a bounded period of time to your new node. So you get to control how quickly your application replicas get rescheduled after a node failure. So let's talk about two case studies where we can take advantage of this. So first example, Kafka. Um, it's a standard three replica application. So three zones running in three, three, um, three replicas running in three zones. Um, it was really originally developed by LinkedIn or Cross zone network was effectively free on prem if you own the network network stack. Um, but Kafka can produce vast amounts of cross zone network traffic that incurs egress costs. Um, the other challenge is RTO, or I guess the, the other thing to consider here is RTO. Um, if you move all your nodes to one zone, you get the same RTO if a single node fails. Um, but there is a in the event of a zone failure, all your brokers will need to be rescheduled to an alternate zone. So the recovery is kind of a trade-off here. We get a quite a significant cost reduction for this pricing pricing model here, 53%. Um, but the the worst case failover time does increase. So that is a bit of a trade-off we need to consider. 
And then the other case study is a standard single replica relational database. You may have multiple reasons to run a single replica database, simplification, cost optimization. Um, but Stateful HA can take this existing architecture and give you an upper bound and recovery time, also giving you data durability. Cost them. So if you want to learn a little bit more, we have a blog post out. You can search for GK Stateful HA controller. There's a link to the preview there. You can test out and install in your own cluster. And our GA is coming soon in a number of weeks. Thanks all for your time.